What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to basically write code with AI for Unreal Engine 5 in just a couple of minutes. So in this case we're gonna basically make this cube move up and down with a dynamic movement without writing any line of code. It's gonna be a very easy to follow so let's get started. Alright so first of all let's go to ChatGPT and basically just type what we want to create. So in this case let's say make a C++ script for UE5 to make a cube move up and down and obviously you could just replace this prompt at the end with whatever you actually want to create in Unreal Engine 5 with AI and then let's say that you skip it simple this will be an actor class that I can just drag into the level enter and that's it the only keywords that we need is make a C++ script for UE5 and then if it's an actor or a component or whatever we want right and there we go we already have the header file and the source file so as you might know with C++ there's two files the header and C++ in header is where you define all the variables and methods and on the C++ file is where you actually implement the logic, okay? So now, back in Unreal Engine 5, basically just go up into Tools and create a new C++ class. Now don't worry if you have a Blueprints project and you don't have C++ as a base of your project because when you create a new C++ class, it will automatically convert. So you just click on here, you wanna go into All Classes and obviously create the class that you created the script on. In this case, if we go back to ChatGPT, we created an actor because it's a cube that moves up and down. So going back into Unreal Engine, we can also select an actor. And then we can click on next and then you spit it a name. Now for the name, ideally we want to choose the same as the actual ChatGPT, which is a bobbing cube. So I'll basically just copy and paste this and then click on create class, save it wherever you want. Usually the default path is good and then click on that. And then after a couple of seconds, we should actually create the C++ two files, the header and the actual uh, module. And now once that generates, we can do it. Now, if you have a Blueprints folder, uh, like I said, you can just basically restart the project and you should have your Unreal Engine 5 project compiled for also C++, which is handy for all this stuff. And uh, very soon, we will also be able to generate Blueprints with AI. There's sort of a couple of plugins that do it, but, um, I recommend to use it with C++ right now because it's super easy if you wanna have the free and easy way, right? Okay, perfect. So now you have uh, basically Visual Studio or Xcode opened. In this case, I'm a Mac, so I have Xcode, but basically it doesn't matter, you just need an IDE. You can even open this up with uh, just notes, the notepad app, <laughs> it's just code. So basically now we just need to paste in the code for the header and also for the C++ file. So going back into ChatGPT, first let's go into the header, copy, go into Xcode and then select everything, delete on the header and just paste it in. Back to ChatGPT, go to the C++, open Xcode, select everything, delete, paste, all right? Now you save with Ctrl S or Command S, whatever you have it, and that's it. And you can see that we have a space for uh, your project API, it's just kind of like the name of the project, but I believe that we can just leave it like this. So now back in Unreal Engine, once you have saved the files, very important, do a Ctrl S, click on this icon over here, so that actually Unreal Engine will compile the C++ files. And when it compiles them, well, you can then execute them, right? Now you see that it actually failed. That's because of the naming conventions. So basically very important on the actual class, you just need to name it how it is. In this case, I believe uh, that my name is uh, Paper, so let me just, just recompile it. Okay, so basically what I had to do is just go and rename this to Paper underscore API. For some reason, it has to be the project name and then underscore API all in caps. But anyway, so now we actually got it. So if we go into the C++ class, we can see that we have the bobbing cube and it's an actor, so we drag it in. It should actually like be a cube or actually just uh, any skeletal mesh or static mesh. 
in this case is empty so basically we just go into the mesh and change this to be a cube right so let me uh, find a simple cube for example this one and I could go here and simulate and as you can see it's going up and down don't worry about this error so it's just a different thing so that's it you actually went ahead and coded logic in a engine 5 with AI without writing any single line of code and we did this via C++ instead of blueprints because well ChatGPT is better at that for now and very soon we'll be able to write also nodes there's a couple of tools like I mentioned that do this but the easiest one by far is just creating a C++ class I mean look at this again literally what we wanted to do so if you want to go ahead and use expand more stuff with it you can just go to ChatGPT and say okay well this happened I'm gonna do this and that change this and it just happens so that's it guys if you found this video helpful like and subscribe check out all the 800 tutorials that I have to actually master Unreal Engine 5 now yes but I said bye bye